Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Today I'm going to talk about one of the commonest endoscopic procedures performed in medical practice called a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy, as the name suggests, is a camera done with a flexible telescope called the colonoscope and it is used to look into the large intestine or our colon. If you are unsure about what a colon or the large intestine means, then please watch my video on the link below. Today I'm going to talk about um, what does the instrument look like, how much does it cost and the cost of the procedure itself. Because it's a very long uh, topic to talk about, in the next video I'm going to talk about the preparation during the procedure or before the procedure. I'm also going to talk about what the patient would expect when they come into an endoscopy unit to go through this procedure. And last but not the least, I'm going to talk about the complication that can happen, which means what can go wrong during the test or even after the procedure. So thanks for watching and please stay tuned. So this is what a colonoscope look like. Colonoscope is about 1.6 to 1.7 meters long, which is about five, five and a half feet long. It is made up of thousands of fiber optic fibers, which are quite flexible. But when they are put together in a bunch of thousands together, it makes them very strong. And they carry not just the light, but also images from the tip of the colonoscope to a television screen for the endoscopist to see. So this is uh, what a colonoscope looks like from closer. It has got a couple of wheels which control the tip of the colonoscope through which the light is coming out. And those wheels can turn the tip up and down, right and left. It gives fine control to the endoscopist to move the colonoscope around and also to take um, biopsies, cut out polyps, etc. Et it's got channels through which biopsy forceps can be put down. Um, snares can be put down to cut out polyps and other equipment, other instruments can be put down as well. It's got channels through which suction can be done. If there is um, fluid in the bowel which can be sucked out, it can also be used for washing inside the bowel and lots of other things can be done. After understanding what a colonoscope looks like, the next thing we are going to talk about a cost of a colonoscopy. So the cost I have written down here are in pounds sterling because I live in the United Kingdom, work over here. Please remember the colonoscopes, like every endoscope, are made by different companies. I can name a few like Olympus, Fujinon, Pentax, etc., etc. There are other companies as well. And the cost varies from one company to the other. The company I use uh, or where I work, they use um, the cost of buying just a colonoscope. This does not include the cost of the uh, processor, which changes the images from a colonoscope into an image onto a television screen that is twice the amount of this cost but just to buy one colonoscope will put you back between 40 and 50 thousand pounds. Each procedure, a simple colonoscopy which takes about 15-20 minutes to do in the procedure room will cost you about 550 pounds per procedure that's the cost that goes to the National Health Service. If any Procedures are done during a colonoscopy, like biopsies are taken or polyps are removed or tumors are removed or stents are put in, then that procedure, procedure cost from 550 pounds approximately will go up to a few thousand pounds. So reasonably expensive in equipment to buy and reasonably expensive procedure to go through. So what is an endoscopist looking for during the test? One thing to remember is Colonoscope is passed from the bottom end, so that is the anus, which is the exit from the bottom end where we pass our poo from. Camera goes after lubrication through here, goes through the rectum, goes through the sigmoid colon, is descending colon, transverse colon, ascending colon and comes to the cecum, which is right at the bottom of the appendix, so that is the appendix. And in some patients we can also push the camera into the small part of the intestine called the ileum, which is the last few inches of the ileum we can see. 
As you can see, the chronoscope has to go around several sharp bends in the bow. The sharp corner here, sharp corner here, sharp corner here, bend over here. So getting a colonoscope from this end to this end is not possible in every patient. The completion rate, which means coming uh, through the anus into the cecum is about 90-95%. Very good endoscopists, very experienced endoscopists can reach to the end in about 95, 96, 97%. But I don't know of any endoscopist who can complete it in 100% patients. So this is what the endoscopist is looking for. And as you can see, the line I have drawn is inside the colon. So what they are looking for is inside the colon, not what outside the colon. So if there is any problem going outside the colon, like if the appendix is inflamed or there is something nasty going on outside the colon, the endoscope cannot look at it and the endoscopist cannot comment on it. So the endoscope is going inside the colon. So what the endoscopists are looking for, they're looking for simple things like polyps that we've talked about before in my previous video. They're looking for inflammation like colitis, Crohn's disease, etc., etc. They're looking for tumors like cancer. They're looking for narrowing in the bowel, anything abnormal. So those are the things that endoscopists are looking for. In the next video, which is the continuation of this video, please do watch because I'm going to talk about the preparation for the procedure, how is the patient prepared before the camera is put around, what does the patient expect during the procedure, what happens in the endoscopy room, and what complications, God forbid, can happen during the test or after the test. Thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.